students. This resource has been created for you to help you tackle the nine mark question on your exam paper. We've called it the advanced structure. This is because it's aimed at students wanting to achieve an A star to B grade on their exam. And the structure has been recommended to us by the exam board. So I'm going to go through now how you would use this structure if you're going to use it to answer a nine mark question on your exam paper. So like we've always taught you, opening sentence, okay? This is where you demonstrate to the examiner that you understand the question, that you know what the question is asking you to write about. So to do that, you have to explain and use the key business terms that either appear in the question or the case study. You write down your gut feeling to this question. Now, if you are able to use the name of the business that appears in the case study at this point, that would improve your answer as well. So bear that in mind when you are writing your opening sentence. So, after making your opening sentence, you're now going to move on to make a good point. Before, we've told you to make two. But for an advanced structure, we are recommending that you just make one. And the reason you can do that is because you should provide lots of detail in your answer. Now, if you can't, when you see the nine mark question on your exam paper, go into lots of detail, use the old structure and make two good points. So if you're going to make one good point, like you should be using the advanced structure, you need to give one reason um, for or against or an advantage or disadvantage uh, for whatever the question is about. So remember, this all depends on what the question is. You're then going to explain your point using business terms and relating your answer back to the case study. Remember, you're explaining in lots of detail. The examiner is going to be looking for lots of business terms and a connection back to the case study. You're then going to analyse this point. Okay, Remember, you get marks for analysis, so it must be in your answer. You do this by saying, however. You then provide and have to explain in detail again the alternative view to your original point. So if you provide an advantage to begin with, when you say however, you have to give the disadvantages for taking that option. Okay, so you need to explain that. After doing your good point, you're now going to move on to your evaluation. This is where you summarise your decision or your key argument. I would use the terms I recommend or I suggest because they sound more business-like and you begin with those terms to summarise your argument. So I would say I suggest that the business in the case study does and then I explain what I've originally said. You were able to use the Wizard of Oz technique because, because, because to justify your answer, okay? The examiner is looking for that. Use terms such as would, could, should, might or may because you're not entirely sure that your suggestion is going to work. If you follow the advice that we've given to you for the advanced structure to an IMARC question, if you're aiming for the top grades, then hopefully you're going to have a very good looking answer. <laughs>